The Earth orbits the Sun just like the Moon orbits the Earth. Although it's not exactly circular, we can make the approximation that the Moon's orbit is indeed circular. That's going to simplify our calculation of orbital velocity. But before we do that, let's define what orbital period is. Orbital period is the time it takes for an object to complete one revolution. If this path is circular, then the distance covered in one revolution will be exactly the formula for the circumference of a circle, 2 pi r, with r being the radius. And remember this basic equation, speed is distance over time. We can apply this to astronomy to find the orbital velocity. The orbital velocity can tell us, for example, how quickly the moon is traveling around the Earth. So the orbital velocity is distance traveled, in this case, it is 2 pi r, divided by the time period, the time for it to complete one revolution. Writing it in symbols, we have v is equal to 2 pi r divided by capital T. Here's an example question. The moon has an orbital period of 27.3 days and it is 384,399 kilometers from the Earth. Calculate the orbital velocity of the moon. Let's write down the equation. Orbital velocity is 2 pi r divided by time period. Substituting some numbers in, that gives us 8.85 times 10 to the power of 4. The units will be kilometers per day because distance here is given in kilometers and time in days. Here we have calculated the moon's orbital velocity and that's the velocity that it travels around the earth with. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more physics.